guys welcome back to simple cook eats and family vlogs you don't get no simpler than microwave meal kits so that's what we're doing today we got the giovanni rana rana i think that's how you say it i'm not sure how you say it but this is what it looks like fettuccine mushroom sauce with italian sausage let's get into it let me just point out that it says eight minutes in the microwave this one you can make this in eight minutes in the microwave. Baby, this is for me. I love this for microwave things. So, first thing I'm gonna open it. I need my hands and I be a better man. I know I left the earth, but here I am again. Flew around for a while, but couldn't find a friend. It says, Did you know in this product there are no preservatives, no GMO ingredients, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors, no powdered eggs? I don't know what the powdered eggs thing has to do. I don't know what that's about. But no artificial flavors, no artificial colors. You know how hard it is to find something that says that? Nowadays, I actually don't know because I don't really look. That's really cool though. And I ain't perfect, but this love is worth it. I got a lot underneath that I'm trying to surface. And I want you in the whip with a love for Christ. And we gon' run it up again because we good for life, girl. Yeah, and you know that. I'm a I'm the one forever, forever. You like can like birds of feather. Cut from the same cloth, so we strong as ever. on high for eight minutes this is honestly gonna feel like the longest eight minutes of my life everything's so good so far like easy prep quick prep no mess literally so now we just have to see if it tastes good because it looks good. That would be so clutch if it does. Okay. I'm pulling it out. I haven't opened this at all. I already smell it. I went to use the restroom. As soon as I walked out the restroom, I smelled it. I was like, it smells so good. Okay. okay, we're not gonna waste no time. I got it set up. I don't even have a drink yet, but I want to hear you try it. So <laughs> let's say prayer. Oh, dear Christian Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for this food. Um, ask these, please bless the food and bless us throughout our daily lives. And say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Like, I smell the mushroom. Like, this is real. This is real. This is not no frozen, fake, lab-made food. This is good. Like, this looks so But it's good. <laughs> so it tastes good for the long day that I had. Let me just stop because this was eight minutes inside of my grave. So this was good. Like with pasta, I feel like I always have to eat something with it.
Baby, this my last whole day. I'm vibing, never gone. Just know it's okay. Cause I'll be coming back just to see your face. No, you're gonna be fine, but it's just one thing. Yeah, it's just one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want you to wait. Girl, I'ma be around. I'm gonna like to cook every now and then. I like to cook when I'm not hungry. If I'm not hungry, I love cooking. If I'm hungry, I'll make the cookies. I'll make the cookies for you. I'm not going to do anything. And this is so quick. Yo. I know y'all have heard about Maui and you know all the conspiracies and everything, but I want you to dig a little deeper and look into Blackrock and then find find the connection between Blackrock and Maui, the Maui fire. It's actually really crazy. And it's kind of scary. If you have heard about BlackRock, you know that BlackRock basically owns half of the world. And then the other half, Vanguard. Vanguard owns it. And they basically are one because they're the biggest shareholders on, in each other's company. So it's basically one person. It's just really crazy. And then go into the CEO of BlackRock. Like the things he says. Oh Y'all yeah. really need to look this I mean, after looking at all that, I just feel like, the, I just, I'm just like baffled. I don't even know what to like, I know there's, I can't, I mean, I could probably make a change if I really, really wanted to, but I mean, what can you do really? Really Baby, this my last whole day. I'm vibing, never gone. Just know it's okay. Cause I'll be coming back just to see your face. No, you're gonna be fine, but it's just one thing. Yeah, it's just one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want you to wait. Girl, I'ma be around. Girl, don't you be afraid. Cause time gon' tell the truth. If all them late nights was really something, something. If all them jobs was more than a rushing. By the time it's come for me, I gotta go now. I'm saying so long. Till the next time. I can't tell you how many times that's happened with like noodles and just like any type of pasta.
Hmm. That is really good and there's a lot in there. The only thing I would say is add some hot sauce. That was really for me. I was trying to make myself eat a lot, but I encourage y'all to keep writing in your journals, keep reading your scriptures. Just know that spiritually, mentally, emotionally, just know you're good. As long as you're still trying, trying to do better every day, that should be your goal every day is to be a better person than you were yesterday. No, not on no corny stuff, you know, like, but seriously, like, you should always be striving to do better, like, to grow. That should be your main goal every day is to grow and just be happy. One last thing I want to leave with is to tell y'all that confidence is key. Confidence is key, not only for appearance, not only to make the outfit. Okay, it really does make the outfit. Confidence makes the outfit, but it's the key to your mindset. It's the key to your, your future. Literally the key to life is your confidence. Words matter. What you say about you, like if you say, I am going to suck at this. I am not going to do good at this. I am going to fail at this. You will, you will. Not, I mean, you might not, but most chances are you will since you already put yourself in that mindset. So yeah. Confidence is key for everything. If you think you can do something, you can do it. You can do anything. Some things might be harder than others, but you can literally do anything you put your mind to as long as you have God. I am still working on that. Like, I don't always rely on God when I am down or when I am struggling in something. I might say, oh no, I should go do this. I need to go do this, do this. No, like, you need to sit down and pray. Take a step back and let go. But yeah, I'm still working on that. I am so far from perfect, but yes, I just wanted to leave y'all with that. Keep striving to do better and keep strengthening your relationship with God, wherever you're at. You are the controller of your own life. Literally, you are. There will be trials and whatever, but you have to trust in God that he got you and that you can do this. You have to trust in yourself too. Like I said, it's confidence. Um, y'all got something out of this. Thanks y'all for tuning in and supporting.